You know, so again, kind of going going with the text that we're reading here, this verse three: all things were made by him, and without him was uh, not anything made that was made. Now, if I'm not mistaken, and Seamus, again, you you'll have to confirm because you are better with Greek than I am. Um, I don't think the word there is by. I think it's all things were made through That's him. That's correct. It would be through. Yeah. So this is, again, still entirely consistent because, for, first of all, again, the the him there is also not him. It is it. It does not become a him until verse 14. Uh, yes. Um, well, it's actually a little earlier than that. Uh, there's, I think it's verse 8 where you see it would make sense to render it as uh, as he. But yeah, the word, the Greek word for autos both means he or it, and it's interchangeable in every sense of the word. Uh, and so context directly dictates whether or not you would render it in English as he or it. And so obviously if you're of the Trinitarian mindset and you, you see this, you're going to see either it was with God in the beginning, but if you believe that this it, that this hologos, the word, is Jesus, then you're obviously going to want to render it as he was in the beginning with God. Um, but it's entirely interpretive, and that, that's why I actually don't like saying translations. I say interpretations, because at the end of the day, it's impossible to have a translation. You have to end up with an interpretation at some point. Yep, yep. And and so if we if we if we understand this verse that way, which again is still a very appropriate way to render this verse three, uh, all things were made through it, and without it was not anything made that was made. All right, and this would define the Jewish position of creation using the Torah exactly. Through the word. 